Okay, completely, uh, with complete candor, I'm gonna say I'm kind of tired right now, but I wanted to knock out this video before I shut down for the day. I've been meaning to do it for a few days, and I wanted to show you today how you do QuickBooks automatic, or as automatic as possible, invoice reminders for your customers in QuickBooks desktop, not online, okay? There's a little bit of nuance here. You have to go to a couple different places to set it up, also, it does not go out automatically. That's a little bit of a misnomer. It actually just reminds you to send them, but it does draft them for you. So it like drafts the reminder, reminds you to send them out on a certain day of the week, and then you review them and send them. Okay, now with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look here. So the first thing you wanna do is go to your preferences, and I'm using QuickBooks Enterprise Manufacturing and Wholesale 21, but you can use, I believe, any of the desktop editions to do this. You wanna go to payments, and you wanna go to company preferences, okay? And then down here at the bottom, it says payment reminders. Do you want to send payment reminders? We're going to say yes. If QuickBooks desktop is open, prompt me at what time? I need to drink my coffee first, so I put 10 a.m. How frequent should it be weekly? And what day? I put Wednesday, because Mondays are crazy. Tuesdays I'm catching up from the crazy. By Wednesday I'm kind of ready to dive into some stuff. Okay, and then it says if QuickBooks is not open, you'll see this prompt whenever you open it the next time, okay? It's not gonna open your software at that exact time and day and say, hey, you forgot to send your stuff out. It's going to remind you the next time you execute the program. So with that done, that's our first part. So I'm going to hit okay. Now everything else is done within the customer menu, okay? So under customers, I'm going to go down to payment reminders and you have three selections, review and send payment reminders, which we cannot use until we actually set them up. We need to schedule our payment reminders, which we want to do once we set up our customer groups. And then we have the one we're going to pick first, managing our customer groups. So I put in manage customer groups. I actually already have my window open here. I was playing around right before I started this video. You've got your groups listed. You can hit edit, delete, and email, okay? It's saying that I'm missing some email addresses. Review them and try again. Okay, so I'm going to put from to ABC customer. And I need to actually go in and check their email address. So we'll, we'll do that in a moment. The two field, oh, let's see if we can do that here. Demo, gmail.com. Yes. Okay, close. Okay, so we set up the email. Okay, you can delete mailing lists, but make sure if you delete a mailing list, you mean to delete that mailing list. Don't think I might want to delete this mailing list because if you need it later, you can't go undelete. You have to recreate it, okay? For some of the simple ones, it may not be a big deal, but if you have a pretty complex customer group um, or mailing list, it's gonna be fun. So I'm going to actually, let me hit cancel, yes. I'm going to hit edit customer group, okay? And this brings you into the same thing as if I picked create one, okay? So I called this my test group, I hit next, I wanted this to capture any of my customers with an open balance greater than zero, okay? And then I hit next, okay? And then it says ABC customer here. So that brought up a customer. I entered in a few invoices just so they would pop up on the list. Okay, and it says automatically add new or remove existing based on fields and values in the group. Okay, now I'm gonna finish. Okay. Now, we've created our customer group, right? Let's go ahead and set up our reminders. So under payment reminders, we need to schedule them because you can't review something you haven't scheduled yet. So we're going to go ahead and go schedule payment reminders. And again, I've set up a little bit of a test, but we're gonna go through this again. So let's hit new for invoice. It says test group, send reminder to test group when an invoice is, and, and I'm going to pick Oh wait, this is the new one. So let's add reminder. Okay, I'm going to put five days before the invoice is due because um, when we're invoicing, now we tend to do net 30, 
but and I believe I did these invoices at net 14 but at net 30 late fees are applied so my customers I know appreciate a little bit of a heads up hey you might have forgotten about this so you have a few you know days before it comes up where you're going to get late fees right because it's easy to see an invoice say oh it's not due for 30 days and then just uh, you know it it happens so you can also add other tag fields down here at the bottom there's several here you can choose and I'm going to hit OK now if that five days passes and the late fees are applied we could send another one so I'm going to put zero days after the due date and this is just copy from the software that pops up you can change that as much as you want and I'm gonna hit OK now if they if they missed it again I'm going to put 15 days after due date and I'll be honest with you if I've seen that it's you know these reminders have been sent and no one's communicated with us generally somebody from our office will call them and say we just want to make sure we have the right email address you know a lot of times entering that wrong email address is going to cause issues now that everything's electronic and it's so easy to do okay obviously if you're getting 15 days past the the due date maybe 30 days out especially like you know 45 60 days out you're starting to have an issue there should be some light collections going on and um and and you need to resolve that open balance but in any case you can send you know plenty of reminders here you can have multiple test groups please keep in mind customers can't be a member of multiple mailing lists at any given time and again Thank you.